Hello, thanks for joining me today for another video unboxing. For you now, I've got something very different from my channel. So I've bought, bought myself a couple of vinyls. And I think the last time I bought some vinyls was probably way back in the 90s. Not including any vinyls that I might get with any collector edition games. Like with uh, Bioshock 2 and I think Mafia 3. I think I had one as well. But anyway, yeah. Well, this is Silent Hill, which is by far along with Resident Evil, Metal Gear... And probably Assassin's Creed. Top three anyway. Resi, Metal Gear, Silent Hill. And when I heard they were releasing some vinyl albums, I know the first one got released a while back and sold it quickly, but they came back in stock when they launched the Silent Hill 2 soundtrack. And if you played the original Silent Hill 2 games, original Silent Hill games, blah, including Silent Hill 3, they've got absolutely fantastic soundtracks and after Silent Hill 3, the series pretty much lost its way and it's never returned back to its form anyway. That depresses me, so let's get back to his vinyl records. Silent Hill 1, the original video game soundtrack. The artwork on the cover, done by uh, Sam Wolf Connolly. And the artwork on Silent Hill 2 is done by Sarah Deck. And I don't own a vinyl play yet, but I'm certainly going to get one because also I've got Resident Evil. One, yeah, Resident Evil 1 and 2 vinyl soundtracks, which I'll probably get in about a month's time. But anyway, let's have a closer look at these vinyl albums. So you get two vinyl albums on here, both of which are double sided. So you have a total of 41 tracks from side A, side B, side C, and side D. So it's really packed, and interestingly, on the back. Due in 2019, I've got something Hill 2 already, Metal Gear Solid. I'm certainly going to get that one, as long as I can uh, doesn't go out of stock before I come about. And obviously these are also done and uh, pressed by Mondo, who do loads of cool stuff. And I just thought I just did steel books and some artworks, but I do figures, t-shirts, loads of stuff. Anyway, let's uh, open this up. I was in two minds whether or not I should actually open them up. But then... I'm going to open up anyway, for when I actually do eventually, one day, get a vinyl player again. Ooh. There we go, right. Let's open you up. Oh, evil! And if I remember correctly, I've not played Silent Hill 1 for a very long time. I think that's got a lot to do with the M-Boss. So, that's it. Take the album, one of the albums out. Just straight off the back there, we've got the Silent Hill logo. And this one, there's, there's various different colour ones you can get. I went for this white one, I think that looked cool. There you go, Sam on each side. I really want to play these. I've almost forgotten what vinyl sounds like. So that's side A, side B. Let's take out side C and side D. Slightly different logo in this one. The white press, there we go. Side C and side B. Almost got the feel of these, but brilliant. Okay, so that's the Silent Hill 1 soundtrack done. Obviously, this is what I must add. This uh, vinyl has been remastered by uh, James Plotkin. Yeah, what have we got here? Production, obviously, by Mondo. I see the original same track composer. <coughs> Excuse me. Akira Yamoka. So, if I've uh, said his name wrong, but <clears throat> he's an absolute legend. So, there you go. So, that's the Silent Hill 1 same track album done. So now we've got the uh, Silent Hill 2 vinyl soundtrack, which, like with Silent Hill 1, this was originally composed by Akira Yamoka. And the artwork, I said, done by Sarah Deck as well. And this is obviously two vinyl pressed albums, A side, B side, C side, D side. So, oh, and there's the uh, scary nurse on the back. Oh no, sorry. This has got just a side A and a side B, so... Oh no, it's, uh, it's hidden there. I was about to say, I'm sure it's had a, a, 
uh, two lots of sides on each one when I bought it. But there you go. So it's a close look by opening it up. There we go. Side A, B, C, and D. And uh, we've got a total of 30 tracks in this one. So not quite as many as Silent Hill 1, but still a lot nonetheless. And straight away, if you know Silent Hill 2, then you're going to recognise that nurse straight away. So, and there we go. And there's uh, James on the front there, going in search of his deceased wife after getting a mysterious letter from beyond the grave. And inside, we've got a pyramid head. One of the most daunting and scary antagonists in, antagonists in any video game. Certainly one of the most iconic. So, let's have a look at the uh, disc press, shall we? A bit different. There we go, got someone able to logo there. Where does that come out? Here we are. Oh, that one's nice. That's almost like a, a fog-like effect. Which I think is one of the versions you actually got if you got there. Got in there quick enough. That is fantastic. That is stunning. And I know actually with a Silent Hill 1 you could get like um, a snowdrop one I think. But they're already gone by the time I came to pre-order it. But man that's nice. Let's have a look at the uh, second disc. And this one is, oh, I took a, I cut that one. And you can make it, it's like a, a blood red and it's also got like a patterning on the inside there. Look at that. That is fantastic detail. <laughs> there was a hot, there was a hole here. Now it's gone. That is really nice. So glad I got this one. So that, my friends, concludes this video unboxing. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, please consider to like, share, subscribe. And hit that bell as well to get notifications when my videos go live. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Solid Snake, the same as my YouTube username. And also keep a lookout for one of my Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 1 vinyl albums, which should be in about a month's time, but I better have videos in between then. Anywho, so without further ado, Thanks for watching and until next time, peace out.